So I recently found another super useful trick in Python. Let's say our intern was working on a basic stock management feature for a small store. The idea was simple. We have a stock of items, like t-shirts, mugs, and notebooks. And as users place orders, we need to subtract the quantities from the stock. So here we have a stock list that contains the items and an order list that contains the items that the customer ordered. Now the intern's job was to remove the ordered items from the stock count. He started with the usual approach using counter from the collections module. So first, he used counter to count how many of each item we have in stock. Then he used the counter to count how many of each item the customer ordered. After that, he looped through each item in the order and subtracted the order count from the stock count manually. So when he ran the program, it worked, and the order quantities were subtracted from the stock. But guess what? Python has a better way to achieve this result. We can directly use the subtract method of the counter class. We will use the subtract method on the stock counter, and inside the subtract, we will pass the order counter as the argument. And that's it. No loop, no manual calculation, just one line. The subtract method takes the order counts and subtracts them from the stock automatically. So now, as we again run the program, you can see we get the same result as expected. And yeah, it also handles things smartly. If a user tries to order more than what's in stock, it'll still subtract, but the count may go negative, which is super useful to flag over ordering too.